time travel. We've all dreamed about it, wondering what we could do if we could travel time, see history firsthand, maybe undo that awkward grade 8 dance. It's a shame it's just Hollywood fantasy, right? Well, what if there were already people traveling time right now, walking among us? Imposters from other time periods hiding in plain sight? They'd be pretty suspicious, right? Well, let's take a look at five people caught in the act and top five terrifying photos that prove time travel is real. Do you think time travel is real? Does it already exist? Let us know. Number five, time hipster. This one's an absolute classic in the time travelers caught on footage community, of which there are dozens of members. This strange photograph that's made the rounds of a man who looks like he stepped out of time. The photo was taken in 1941 at the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Canada. But when the photograph was included in a digital gallery in 2010, the internet instantly took to the guy in the crowd who looks like he just walked out of a crypto startup or had just come back from axe throwing and hitting the barcade. This guy is dressed in surprisingly hip clothes, looks like he's wearing contemporary shades, and kind of looks like he's holding a DSLR camera. You'd think a time traveler would be bringing back something a little bit more extravagant, but you know, maybe it was all he could afford. He could have spent all that money on those sweet shades and that cool shirt. Did he come back in time just to get some snaps of a bridge reopening? It seems like you could probably shoot your shot a lot higher if you were messing with the space-time continuum and all that. Nonetheless, the image of the well-dressed hipster in the crowd has sparked a lot of debate since he definitely doesn't dress like he's from the 30s. Those shades are cooler than anything I've seen in that time period. Underneath what looks to be a contemporary hooded sweatshirt as well, he's wearing a Montreal Maroons jersey, a hockey team that played from 1924 to 1938. So either he's just very hip for the time, or he planned to disguise ahead of time to blend in with the locals. My theory? This guy knows all the best vintage stores are getting cleared out, and he's time traveling, going back to score vintage shirts from the appropriate time period. That Maroons jersey would definitely be a flex in 2022. Number four, iPhone 1920. Now, if you're pretty active in that aforementioned time travelers caught on footage community, I'm sure you've seen this one as well. But I'm sure we've got some new viewers too, so let's take a look at it. An excerpt from the 1928 film The Circus, starring Charlie Chaplin, an old silent movie about a penniless clown joining the circus. Probably the biggest laugh riot of the late 20s. It would already be a notable piece of American film history, but among those who hunt the truth, it might contain proof of a time traveler. A woman can be seen walking through in the background, wearing unnotable attire for the time period, but holding something up to her ear, which she appears to be talking into? What? As she walks by, it looks eerily like she's talking into a mobile phone of some sort. One has to wonder if she's getting good reception. I doubt Verizon had as many satellites in the 20s. Still, it's hard to deny that it definitely looks like she's talking into a cell phone. Now, some skeptics have offered some possibilities for what it could be, as skeptics are wont to do, with the most popular theory being that it's just a hearing aid of some kind, and the poor woman is just trying to hear better. Another slightly more cute suggestion is that the woman is just a bit camera shy, and is trying to cover her face as she walks by. Or, also a possibility, she could just be an old woman talking to herself and she's having a moment. I've gotta say, if she is a time traveler though, she is doing a very sloppy job letting herself get recorded and analyzed like this. Or maybe that's exactly what she wanted. We may never know, but since she's such a popular time traveler, you'd think by now someone would have tried to travel back in time to this incident just to get the facts and finally put a close to the case, right? If no one else will, I will. Number three, time traveling car. This next video, footage from a dash cam in Russia from a patrol vehicle up to YouTube has garnered millions of views and lots and lots of puzzled viewers. Take a look. We can see a fairly ordinary scene, a blocked up intersection and jam packed rush hour traffic. As the car in front of our car starts to drive forward, it turns to the left and we see another car appear out of completely nowhere, like it just materialized out of the ether. Now, the most logical, sound and scientific explanation is obviously that this car is a ghost, but let's try and take this seriously for a bit here and use our brains and think rationally. It is possible that this is a back to the future situation and this car is traveling through time and just happens to be materialized and careening through this intersection. I mean, when you watch this clip, it really does seem like this car comes out of nowhere. You don't see it at all until you do. Now, unfortunately, a strong bit of evidence against the time travel theory is that we don't see any blazing tire treads on the road, which is a universally recognized sign of proof that a time traveling car has been through here. Still, until we get a scientist of some kind to take a look at this clip and explain to me indisputably what is happening, I am resigned to say that this is absolutely time travel. Number two, Pandora's MacBook. Take a look at this ancient Greek statue. 
It depicts a young girl offering something of note to what looks to be a noblewoman accepting the gift. Taking a look at the gift though, it looks suspiciously like it's a little girl trying to show an older woman something on her laptop. I mean look at it. It's even got charging ports in the side. And it doesn't look like there's a USB slot though so we have to assume it is uh, history's first MacBook. Typical. Now skeptics argue that it could be a depiction of a very hollow chest or a thin chest. But if this little girl is supposed to be offering the noble woman a gift, I would say what good gift is going to come in a package that small. At best it's a gift card which is absolutely terrible, says you weren't thinking about it at all. It seems a lot more likely to me that someone traveled back to ancient Greece and maybe left their laptop somewhere or offered it to the people as a gift of technological prowess from the future. Imagine traveling to an ancient civilization and showing them a MacBook. You would be heralded as their god. And if you showed them Fortnite, oh, they would be writing myths about you for eons. What if over the years all the things that have been described as being godly mythical powers were really just time traveling pranksters going back to mess with the time stream a little bit? I'm very, very confident that if humanity ever does attain the ability to travel through time, teenagers will mostly use it to pull pranks and create irreversible damage to the timeline. In fact, I am almost certain that has already happened, given how odd the last couple years have been for us. Number 1. Keanu Reeves Keanu Reeves may very well be the greatest actor of all time. A big statement, I know, but it is a hill I will protect with my life. Name a bad Keanu Reeves performance. You can't. From Neo to John Wick to Johnny Silverhand all the way to Theodore Logan III, Keanu Reeves always delivers. And it makes sense because he's been acting for a very long time. Maybe a very, very, very long time. There are an alarming amount of paintings and photos throughout history of people who appear to be the stunning image of Keanu Reeves. Now, the most likely answer, of course, is that Keanu Reeves has been traveling through time several times to research and prepare for whatever role he needs. Here he is as King Charlemagne, who was buried hurriedly in cold weather, perhaps as a way to cover up that the actor had to leave the role and there was nothing to bury. Here he is as Paul Monet, a French actor who appeared in multiple silent films, who would later go on to be a professor. When Monet passed, his body was never found, probably because he had to travel back to our timeline to be on The Tonight Show. Worth noting is that when directly confronted about his possible immortality or latent time traveling ability by Jimmy Fallon, Keanu did not outright deny it, instead only offering the quote, we're all stardust baby, which is absolutely something a man who has seen the depths of the cosmos would say. In a 2014 interview, when questioned about giving away the sum of his Matrix earnings to the stunt crew, he responded, money is the last thing I think about. I could live on what I have already made for the next few centuries. And maybe he already has. That's all for this video. Keep watching for more scary content every day.